Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be a tutorial video on Oculus Mirror, where to find it, how to use it, and some of its features. This is mainly made for people using the Oculus Rift, Rift S, Quest, or Quest 2. I will try my best to make this nice and short and simple, but I will go in depth with certain things if I have to. But for now, let's get straight into it. So the first thing that you guys want to do is, of course, plug in your headset. Without your headset, Oculus Mirror will not function and it will shut down. Now, I highly recommend that you guys run Oculus Mirror after you plug in your headset and not before. That way, you don't run into any errors or shutdowns on Oculus Mirror. After you have that sorted out, head to your documents folder. In this case, I already have mine opened up. Make your way to where you installed your operating system. So mine is going to be on my C drive. And once you locate that area, go to Program Files. Not Program Files 86, but Program Files. Double click that. Make your way over to Oculus folder. And then from your Oculus folder, go into Support. I know it's not making much sense, but just follow along. And support, make sure to double click Oculus Diagnostics. Once you guys are in this folder, it will be as clear as day as to where it is, and Oculus Mirror will be right there. Now, of course, for ease of access, make sure to create a shortcut for your desktop. That way, every time you need to record, you can just run it from your desktop. You don't have to go through like five or six folders. Just go ahead and drag and drop that on your desktop. Or you know, create shortcut or create you know, copy and paste it and put it on your desktop. In this case, I have it right here. And yes, it's as simple as drag and drop, or at least it should be. So once you guys have your Oculus Mirror dragged onto your desktop, go ahead and double click that. It should run, and at first you'll get a black screen because you are not wearing your headset at the moment. So as soon as you pick your headset up, for an example, I'm gonna put my arm in it. Oh, that is the wrong window. Now this will happen a bunch of times. This is why sometimes my recordings go wrong. But here it is, here's Oculus Mirror overlaid on top of the original game. And as you can already tell, if we do a little comparison on that side, the FOV is completely different. Now, let's go ahead and go through uh, Oculus Mirror real quick for you guys, and I'll show you guys some things with it. But before I do that, let me go ahead and walk over now I don't think I have my controllers turned on okay so we've accessed our little area here now I can see the little mouse there this is not a recording of the game itself but I'm just gonna give you guys examples on oculus mirror so first of all when you guys first run this program you're going to be in uh, this setting right here oh sorry not the setting um, left eye so this is what the game originally records from as well so if you guys are on left eye and you guys are using oculus mirror so you guys can change the setting as you can see right now this is the right eye that i'm trying to ads with but instead it's in the left eye so if that's something that you guys are trying to change simply go to settings go to eye hover over it and click right eye only once you guys do this you guys will immediately be able to see your FOV in your right eye. So that's obviously one of the best features of Oculus Mirror, but there's some other things to go along with it. So things like Time Warp, honestly, I'm not too sure what Time Warp does, but we can go ahead and go down to the FOV scale. Now, here you could select the scale that you want for your FOV uh, as it's being recorded. This is not in-game FOV, this is simply spectator FOV. So this is only for Oculus Mirror. Of course, it's for recording purposes or whatever you want to use it for, maybe streaming. So FOV scaling is simple. You have your Y axis and your X axis. Of course, your X axis being uh, the horizontal plane. Y axis is being vertical and yeah, it's just vertical. Uh, so from these two options, you will have to make it equal to make it look good. So I'm just gonna give you guys an example. So there is the current FOV you see on screen. If I make it 120, uh, instantly it's gonna be a little bit weird so I'm gonna have to switch it to 120 on the y-axis as well now I never use FOVs for this reason especially in Tabor it doesn't seem to work properly you guys notice how it's shrinking the screen and uh, yeah so it's completely pointless to use the FOV changer in certain games I just recommend running 
one important one that I run in this game for a specific reason, and if you guys can already see it, then he'll know why. So on the side here, you guys notice there's a black border. And when you wear a helmet, like one of these guys, or actually the ones with the visors in here, when you wear the helmet, you'll see this black outline on the top of the screen. When it comes to viewer's preference, that black border is probably annoying. So you guys can go to crop to symmetrical FOV, which I believe crops it to the in-game FOV, and then it will look a little bit better. So I'm gonna do that one more time, side-by-side -side comparison here. So this fixes that issue where you have that black border. Now it's still there, obviously you guys could tell, but let's say if I switch back real quick, right? You guys could see that border way more clear. So crop to symmetrical, uh, symmetrical FOV is extremely useful. Definitely highly recommend using it if you are recording. Some other things in here, um, you know, such as guardian notification system, GUI, this stuff, not very important, but when it comes to image stabilization, this could definitely help you in your videos if your hands are shaky, if your head's too shaky, whatever it is. Now, I don't use it, but if you guys do enable it, you guys could see the smoothness that all of a sudden came onto uh, the video here. But of course, the FOV is completely different too. So image stabilization is cool and all, but I highly recommend just running it normal. Uh, there are different settings for it, such as wide. Um, you know, I, again, I don't really care for these things, but if I do enable it, you know, that's what it looks like. If I put on mild, again, it changes the FOV just a tad bit. Uh, but I don't run these things, and I just simply don't need image stabilization. I just keep it on, you know, narrow, and then, uh, you know, disabled for image stabilization. Everything else in the settings here is basically useless um, after image stabilization, such as override view, flash frame drops, take screenshot, and open screenshot folder. Of course, screenshots, if you guys want them, it's there. You guys could take them, but honestly, it's completely useless. If you have Shadow Play or AMD or whatever that can save your gameplay, you don't need to screenshot anything. You can simply rewatch it and take out a specific moment way more clearly than if you do it here. And flash frame drops, I don't even know what that does. Override view is useless because all it does is it basically puts your controller on the screen, but it looks so stupid. So this is what it looks like here. Uh, I don't quite understand the point of it. I, I guess, you know, if you were to, like, what is this even useful for? Maybe it's in a different game. It'll be more useful. Uh, maybe Beat Saber or something. I don't know. I can't really see anyone using that. So highly recommend just using the regular HMD. But that's basically it for Oculus Mirror. And of course, I don't have to mention the other stuff at the top here. But before you guys hit record on your computer, make sure to go in full screen, click the screen once, and hide your mouse off the screen, and you, you guys are ready to record. Everything will work out perfectly fine, and you will be able to show people uh, a perfect perspective. So this is how I make my videos, and sometimes, unfortunately, um, the game itself overlays on top. So if that happens, you guys are going to have to go Alt-Tab out. And of course, you guys can see there's no mouse on the screen, so you guys have to alt tab, go on your Oculus mirror, and run it. Now, it's <laughs> this is exactly what screws me over in recordings because uh, sometimes the game itself overlays on top and it completely leaves Oculus mirror in the background, which is not what we want. So, yeah, that's basically it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and make sure to stay tuned for more videos. I will be making more Tabor videos, no doubt. Um, I love this game and I still do. I, I don't play it much anymore basically because of the updates. I'm just waiting for a really big update to happen so that I can make content on it. Because right now, all I could do is kill players in raids or collect loot. And that's basically it. I can't really do much else right now. So, I will have to wait for an update. I will be making some other videos, however, on this game, such as tutorials or guides for you guys. My version of the guides, I know there's a bunch out there, but my version will contain some goodies on how I play the game. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next one.